Nowadays, people have all kinds of products and goods to fulfill their needs, from the most basic to the most sophisticated. In recent years, it has become necessary to study how we consume products and how this behavior affects the environment and society. Society's current economic model is linear. Extraction raw materials, manufacturing and production, distribution, purchase, consumption, and finally, disposal. During the first phase of the process, natural resources are extracted to obtain raw materials, products or energy. Many of these resources are non-renewable or regenerate very slowly. During production, harmful chemicals are used in the process to facilitate and increase production. Production is offshored to developing countries which often have very lax regulations. Polluting or toxic byproducts are generated. Massive extraction and production may even interfere with nature's cycles. There is a dual problem in the product distribution and purchase phase. Many times, a product's price does not reflect its true environmental or social costs, such as the effects of pollution or cheap labor, which affect people's health and living standards. Moreover, growth is based on plant obsolescence, that is, on having to repeatedly buy the same product which has an ever shorter useful life. In the end, most products are thrown away. The volume of waste production has doubled in the last 30 years and managing it is a real problem. This consumption model is not sustainable in the long run. The solution lies in a transformation of the economy driven by governments, companies and citizens. Governments must encourage responsible production and legislate so that companies produce in an environmentally friendly way and take responsibility for their externalities. Consumers must demand responsible products and make informed decisions while shopping. Companies must design products responsibly and replace the linear production model with a circular one in which obsolete products are repaired and reused. A lot of people are already working to achieve a circular economy. But it is necessary to keep on innovating in order to create a more sustainable planet.